What's up guys? So I'm at the shop, it's Sunday. Just finishing up my paperwork, getting everything ready for Monday. I usually, you know, cruise past the shop, stop on in, make sure everything's kosher. So when I come in, my Mondays is Mondays they can be. But uh, talk to you guys about uh, staying updated. I got the 19.2 Snap-on update. We're gonna update it. Shut up and sit down. All right, guys. So I did this on the last one, kind of show you guys the, uh, you know, the pretty much one of the first updates of the 18.4 update for the uh, Varus Edge that I got. Uh, I do pay for the subscription, so I do get these updates early. I just, uh, you know, I'm a firm believer on, you know, staying up to date with this stuff. You know, Snap on uh, got some pretty decent software out there, but I like to stay up to date on some of these cars. I guess the 19.2 is supposed to be, uh, have a lot of new added features to it and all that stuff, as opposed to, you know, Acura, Hyundai, um, some of the other updates for the Zeus. I have the, the Varus, but the updates for the Zeus, you get more customer feedback and cloud storage and things like that. But I'm going to run through this thing. I got the, uh, I got the notification on April 3rd. Um, but it's now a week later, I finally have time to up, update it, but it takes some time to update, but show you guys the process, go through it, maybe we'll fly through some of the sections and all that stuff, see what's different on it. Check it out. All right, guys. So I just got you zoomed in here, kind of turned it on. It's giving me the notification prompt here. Zoom out a bit here. Um, basically, the update takes about maybe 10, 10 15 minutes. Um, the patches are a lot faster, but this is a full blown update. So we'll go to, uh, you know, we could go to the details, maybe uh, show in here what some of the changes are and all that stuff. Um, make it to where I could still grab a hold of that. But it looks like uh, new coverage hi highlights, uh, enhanced wheel alignment for Buick, Cadillac, Chevy, Chrysler, Honda, Jaguar, Land Rover, Nissan, Subaru. Uh, better GM freeze frame data, more BMW battery replacement and registrations when you replace the batteries on the, BM, the newer BMWs. Uh, Chrysler airbag extended for those, all those recalls. Forward body control module, function test. I can't wait till they get to the point where you could program those forward modules without the VSE number, uh, the VSC cr criteria number. Um, that's something new. I had to pay $400 to uh, program these modules now, and it only lasts two years with the J2534. Um, Mercedes, Sprinter, uh, DEF counter reset, Toyota and Lexus, electronic parking brake problem. And I know 18.4, I want to say 18.2 or 18.4, uh, the update, Snap-on had a, a update problem for the uh, airbag. I guess it was blowing airbag modules or something like that. I can't remember reading about it. I never had problems with it. Um, it looks like uh, driver, the advanced driver assist system test for the cars and recalibrations for them. <clears throat> but yeah, that's pretty much it. So it just gives you kind of a rundown of kind of all the uh, the upgrades. But we'll go ahead and pull this thing up. Go to install now, and then just kind of let it run through the process here. And it just starts running. It runs the bundle pack. So I'll probably just uh, I'll probably just uh, time lapse through this a little bit to respect your guys' time.
All right, guys. <clears throat> so it pretty much just booted up the suite for me. And you guys could see 19.2. I could already tell one of the icons is missing. I can't recall off the top. My main ones are still there, obviously, scope meter, got a component, the uh, generic OBD. The ones I care about, it's still there, but it looks like they did take one away. Um, we'll go to the scanner. Still got this little prompt message thing. It's nice for those wireless ones, so you don't forget to grab the uh, dongle out of the car. I don't mind it. And then uh, it'll show you your recent vehicles right away, it looks like. So that's something new. Um, actually, that might have been on there. I think I take that off. I don't like when that's on there. Um, any new cars or anything here? Saab don't magically appear on here. Uh, still got Harley Davidson on here, even with that new scanner they got for motorcycles. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's just see if anything changed in the demo here. Oh, cool. This is a new one here. The service resets and relearns. I don't remember that being on there. Looks like it's got a little 12 there. Kind of runs through, gives you the tip of TSBs, recall campaigns. I wonder if it gives you the campaign numbers too. That's really cool. That'll be a time saver for me switching back and forth to Mitchell in this. But yeah, that's one reason why I love the updates. So, cool stuff. Now exit out. What I like to do, just hit exit, and then I'll take my uh, my old one. This is the new suite here, and I like to rename it. Um, pull up keyboard here. And we'll just call it... Uh, Snap on sweet. That's good. Continue. We got the admin permission. Yep. And then what I like to do is just take my old one and toss it away. We'll check, make sure. It runs good. Should be copyright 2019. You know, updating to any pretty much any Snap-on uh, Windows-based tablet, just basically going through the process. That's the over-the-air for you guys out there. That obviously, don't have the subscription. You'll be just bringing your scanner out, having your uh, you know your Snap-on rep doing it for you. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much the process. Updating to 19.2. Pretty much uh, all you got left to do is you know plug the uh, module into a car and then uh, update that. Also, I'll probably do that before I leave. You guys that need to see how it's done, I did that when I updated to 184. I put a card up here, but uh, you know you got to stay up. You got to stay uh, up to date with these with these updates. I know Snap on, you know, wants an arm and a leg for some of these uh, these updates on these scanners. You know, but you know, paying annually and things like that, it's it, you know, it'll put a hole in the pocket. It definitely will. But me paying, you know, paying for these updates throughout the years, you know, it's not too much of a, I guess you say, financial burden. Because, um, you know, by the time the update comes, I'm already paid up on it and all that stuff. And I learned my lesson, the, my last scanner I had, my Solist, I think it was, I was just so far behind. By the time it taken me to, you know, get up to date with it, it was like the cost of another scanner. So I just, you know, I don't want to fall too far behind on these. I know, I know the 19.4 is going to be the last update that uh, Snap-on's going to support with scanners like the Solist. I think there was a couple other ones in there. 
Um, but you know, that's kind of a bummer for you guys still using those scanners. I got the Varus. They were trying to push me to get the Zeus, but I like this one better. Um, I don't like some of the Zeus software, how they kind of funnel you into, you know, where to look on the cars. I like to come up with those. I like to come up with that by myself when I'm going through a di diagnostic process. But for, you know, some of the newer stuff or not really necessarily computer-based scanner guys, you know, it kind of coasts you in the right direction. It's, it's good for a lot of people out there. But for me, I like to come up with my own assumptions and, you know, have my own case studies and, my own directions to go when I'm diagnosing these cars. You know, I don't, not without help from the scanner other than what I need it for. But that's it guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up, update that module. If there's anything uh, new and fancy or wild and crazy, you know, once I put this 19.2 to use, you know, I'll be sure to let you guys know, keep you posted, maybe do a video on it if it's anything, uh, you know, that blows me away or anything like that. But, you know, most of the stuff I read, I read in the threads, it's, you know, stuff that was talked about between me and my sales rep anyway, so. But yeah, guys, just a quick one on a 19.2. Like I said, keep your scanners updated. You know, it's, uh, I, or you or the shop you work for, make sure, you know, you guys keep it updated. It just makes our job easier when we're diagnosing these cars to have the new technology at our fingertips and not being far behind trying to work on a car that's outdated. You know, our scanner's outdated by two years. So, but that's a quick one for you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Keep your scanners updated. We'll catch you in the next one. Signing out.